right back here at Sharp Facets Gallery this afternoon. Hey, before we get started, I do want to remind you, Wednesday evening at, I believe it is 6.30, is that right? 6.30, out there at uh, the Conference Center at Piedmont Tech, we're going to be talking about traveling to America's music cities, New Orleans, Memphis, and Nashville. Hey, I'm going on the trip, too. It's going to be May 24th through the 31st. And I sure hope you're going to come to this uh, information session. It's free, and who knows, you might decide to go and you can save a hundred dollars. That's right, if you book before the, what is it, the 24th of November. You need to call Jean's Travel Adventures, 993-1955. That's 993-1955. If you'd like to come to the information session so you can, uh, she can be prepared for you. You're going to see slides. You're going to hear about the trip. And one of the great things, most people tell me, oh, I've been to New Orleans, or maybe I've been to Nashville, maybe you've been to all three. I doubt if you will have seen all of these the way we're going to see them. So why don't you book that uh, free information session this Wednesday, November 12th at 6.30 out there at Piedmont Tech. Call Jean Houston, 993-1955. That's 993-1955. Love for you to go with us. All aboard, please. Hey, I'm right here this afternoon with Tommy Claus. That's right. You may have heard of Santa Claus, but I have Tommy Claus in the flesh sitting right here with us. Tommy Claus, a.k.a. Tommy Tumlin, has been doing this for, this is the 10th anniversary of Tommy Claus. How you doing today, Tommy Claus? All right. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. So, uh, how is everything over at Lander? You work over at Lander? Oh, it's great. It's great? Lander is a wonderful place. Yeah. And, uh, of course, uh, I guess it kind of changes as it goes into fall and working <laughs> on the grounds and whatnot, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, um, you actually use Tommy Claus. It gets a lot of support from over there at Lander, oh, yeah, don't we you? Oh, yeah. get a lot of support. How do you get support? Well, we get support through our our media, mm -hmm. through no money or nothing, but right. through our media, through through our students, through different ways of organizations. Well, I think uh, if I was, we were talking before we went on the air, if I remember correctly, I think you count on those uh, sororities and fraternities over there to help uh, boost the uh, boost the stuff coming in. Oh yeah, they do a great job. I'm proud of all of them. Yeah. I'm proud of Lander all the way, and many more of our sponsors, too. Sure. But uh, you've added a little uh, kink to it this year. With uh, You've got, already got the boxes out. Things are already starting to appear in the boxes over at Lander. Mm -hmm. And didn't you uh, develop uh, something that you thought might tempt the sororities and fraternities to go, go bigger rather than going home, go bigger this year? Yeah, I mean, it's fun. It's Christmas, you right? know? I mean, yeah. we're here to make it fun we want everybody to jump on board but it's to challenge them to give it's a challenge them to make them to see who the best of the best is that's right so for you you are donating personally from your own pocket a hundred dollars to right. the fraternity or sorority that raises sure. the most stuff mm -hmm. in those boxes oh yeah and we had uh, caitlin in here and she goes to lander she's uh, one of our board operators she was saying, I'm going to go ahead and put it out there in case there's any other sororities or fraternities listening over there, that uh, Sunday night, FIMU is meeting and coming in a big way to fill their box. They're going to, they're going to beat the challenge, right? We're going to see who's going to win. And we're going to see who's <laughs> going to win. But whoever does, you're going to donate $100 to, to their, their favorite church. charity. That's right. Wow. That's, uh, that's pretty awesome, Tommy. Well, we've got to do the right thing to make everything so happy, you know, yeah. to get the job done. Now, what made you take this uh, Tommy Claus on 10 years ago, it's your 10th anniversary, what made you get involved and what exactly is Tommy Claus? Tommy Claus started as a mission project. My dad preached a sermon on being mission minded. Right. And what better way that you could do it? Mm -hmm. I mean, we start, I started out with Christmas trees. Right. I give Christmas trees away. Christmas trees? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. We used to go we, my, up there at the farm, my far, folks' farm. Mm -hmm. I cut Christmas trees and go around and give them to people that didn't have them. Just give them away? Yeah. How'd your dad feel about this? He was okay with it. Okay. <laughs> I mean, okay. it was, it, it was the, the joy of, you know, the season. Right. 
good-hearted people, you know. Yeah. Well, that's true. That's true. But still, a lot of people raise uh, Christmas trees for money to supplement I know, their income. But I just want to do something a little different, you know. Did your dad notice that you had cut down oh, these yeah, trees? Oh, because I had to ask permission first. <laughs> Okay. That was me. So here. you started uh, cutting down Christmas trees, mm -hmm. and then uh, then what did you, uh, how did this grow from there? Then we, we decided, what, well, if we could do Christmas to Christmas trees, we could do toys. Right. I mean, you know. So it wasn't we just, that big a stretch there? No. Nah. Okay, so then how did you get all this program started? Well, I got my family together and said, this is what we're going to do. Okay. And we started forming it, and, and we did it the first year under my carport. That's right. I remember that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very. Uh, and, and, and it kept growing. And I said, Dad, we're gonna go with this thing. He said, Well, I'm not. Let's do it. So, it's it's banded, it's banded, and then we got to meet Mr. Joel mm -hmm. over Joel Floyd, and he's let us use the place ever since, and it's been wonderful. I mean, you got a place where it's big enough, right. you can put the tables out, you got the toys, and you go with it. That's right. Now, the whole premise behind this is the fact that uh, uh, parents can uh, make an appointment mm -hmm. to go in there on, uh, you'll have a couple of days where you'll be able to do this. They make appointments, they go in, they pick out a few things for their children, mm -hmm. and it's like they go shopping for free. Mm -hmm. That's pretty awesome. I mean, you know, it's, it's, it, it, it makes you feel good when the parents come in and you know they need help. Sure. And I've, I've had grown men. Mm -hmm. Women, right? Just cry. Yeah. Did they get? Because see, it's it may not be what they want, right? But it's something that they're getting, right? And you know, and most of us have no I, most of us have no idea that to not to know how it is to not be able to to buy Christmas for your children. Most of us don't know that. There are so many people out there though that don't have this opportunity to be able to do this. It's really, really great. Now, you still add Christmas trees in there. If somebody needs a yeah, Christmas yeah, tree, we, aren't we'll you still doing Yeah, if we get a, a Christmas tree or whatever, we'll put it in there with them. I sure. mean, you know. So they can have a, a real Dickens of a Christmas, right? Because when, what the thrill is is when you carry it out to the cars. Right. And you see the smiles, the tears. Right. That's really nice. That is really nice. You know, Gracie just started. She's, uh, for those of you who see the video, she's decided to join us today. Lately, she's been uh, snoozing when it came time for Meet Me at the Diner. But I guess because she started her own Facebook page, it's called Gracie Gives Back. Um, it's part of WCRS Radio. But Gracie Gives Back. If you go on Facebook, go there. <laughs> yeah, like her page. <laughs> yeah, she wants everybody to know that you can help out with the Humane Society. Hey, we're going to hear a quick word from our sponsor. We'll be right back. Oh, that's right. We're right back here. Short past its gallery. You know, Gracie was just getting in on the act here. She wanted everybody to know about her Facebook page, Gracie Gives Back. I'm going to try to tell you about it without her interrupting us real quick. Gracie Gives Back. We're uh, going to be raising money for money and or product, which is blankets and heaters for out there at the Humane Society. You know, most of the dogs have to sleep outside. Now they were very uh, happy when they got the, uh, the the barrels that they're able for them to sleep in. But when it gets cold, and it's supposed to get cold this weekend, you know, we are looking to need blankets to keep the dogs warm. Heaters, all of these type of things would be greatly appreciated. So we here at Sharp Facets with Gracie's urging went ahead and decided that we will give 10% towards the Humane Society for everything we sell now through uh, 22nd, 23rd, 24th, something like that. We'll be doing that 10% towards that. If you bring us something and sell us something, sell us something, gold, silver, diamonds, etc., we're going to take 5% of that and put that towards the Humane Society. But here's the rub. It doesn't affect the price that you get to buy it or the price you get to sell it. You get the full price. Ann and Jeff and Gracie are taking 10% or 5% and donating that to to the Humane Society. So it's one of those win-win situations and she's real excited about her new Facebook page. She's all dressed up. She's got her cape and her hat on in the pictures and she wants to help her brothers and sisters 
right out there at the Humane Society. There'll be a box here too if you want to drop off a blanket or heaters, any of that kind of stuff. We'll be taking that too. So uh, make sure you put that on your radar. You know, we've got coats for kids. We've got blankets for dogs. There you go. <laughs> Gracie likes to dress up. You can see some pretty interesting pictures on her Facebook page. Check it out. Gracie gives back. But we're here talking with Tommy Claus. I just had to talk about that because, you know, Gracie got rather fun. excited. Oh, yes. Yeah. yeah, I know. She Very, natural. Very natural. Very natural. Yes. yes. She's a ham. <laughs> <laughs> but um, you were telling me how um, one of the things that you like to see is people come up and tell you how much they appreciate the fact that they do this. And one of the things, what do you try to tell people futuristically? If, if we helped you when you get on your feet, help somebody else. Do right because it is right. I mean, because we're all blessed right. in this country. We're all blessed in this town. Sure. Well, you know, we always talk about uh, paying it forward. Yeah, that's like paying it forward. You know, do something for you. Have somebody do something for you, and then you do something because for somebody else. Do you remember what I told you before we went on there? What There's not you? a child that should go without Christmas. You're right. We can fix that. Yes, you can. You we can. can fix it, and we can we can make it stick. I mean, I know, and I, you know, one of the things that is so great about Greenwood is the fact that we have so many organizations that are helping. Mm -hmm. Whether it's the Angel Trees, so many of the churches, the Toys for Tots. There's all sure. these programs out there. Yours is just another avenue to help those, even I think maybe more less fortunate. Would you say that? Sure. Yeah. I mean, we're working as a team. That's right. We're on the same team, and if we can make it better for kids, then they're going to grow up and be a better society right. in this town and in our and in our world. You because you got to start somewhere. You do have to start somewhere, you know. And one of the things that I always thought was real neat uh, was the fact that you would take a I'll use the word used toy. Mm. It doesn't have to be a brand new toy. You sure. want to explain to the people what you're looking for? Well, we're looking for anything a kid to play with that is is playable. We playable. Don't have to, you don't want broken ones. No, not <laughs> broken ones. And, and 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 just take it and let the let them enjoy it. I mean, they you. It's amazing what they they're appreciative. Sure. The parents are so appreciative. I remember you were on here a couple of years ago, and you said just that little piece of plastic means a lot sometimes. Sure. <laughs> and that always stuck with me, Tommy, because it's just a piece of plastic. But a piece of plastic can move mountains. Yeah, okay. Come on, let, let's, let's look at it. Yeah. There's, if it can bring joy to their hearts. Right. And bring goodness, it can bring families together. Well, I think that is one of the things that we have that is going on is we have such a, a, a broken apart families. Sure. And you know, I think a large part of that is the economy. People unable to support the families that they have, and so they end up going away because they just can't deal with it. It's too painful. And you know what else we have? A lot of grandparents raising kids. Yes, we do. And it is, to it's me, awesome. it's a wonderful thing if that's the, if that's the case. Sure. I commend every grandparent out there that does it. You're right. You're awesome. Keep going. Right. And that's tough because they didn't sure. plan to be doing this. Sure. Yeah. They didn't plan to be doing this, but they do it because they care about their grandchildren. Sure. Mm -hmm. And it's a wow. 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 <laughs> <laughs> All right, now, you have some good sponsors. You were telling me Dollar General is just awesome. Oh, they're the greatest. Yeah, tell us a little bit about what they're doing for you. Well, they, they're getting together at the different stores and, and, and bringing it together, and they'll, they'll bring it to the warehouse. And it's, it's, it, I thank you. Thank you, guys. You're wonderful. And, in fact, um, all the stores here in Greenwood and the surrounding areas mm -hmm. are coming in mm -hmm. on this. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Well, please shop at Dollar General. Please okay. shop Dollar General. Okay. That's right. All please right. shop at Dollar General. They're yeah. Good folks. But, yeah. And then you told me Kmart gives you uh, a really I, good I, discount. I, I, some, or sometimes, or I hope they will. Well, Again, yes. they have in the past. Yeah. Sure. And uh, Old Navy. Old Navy. You get mm -hmm. gift cards from them, mm -hmm. right? Yes, Miss Pat. And when somebody donates money to you, what do you do with that money? We take the money and and <laughs> and get stuff for the older kids. That's what sometimes is hard 
to do because you don't have things for the older children. Right. And that's one thing I want to I wanna be more emphasis. That's why a lot of the church groups that are helping me are yes. going in about, I, I don't know when the dates, because I don't know, everybody's don't doing dates. everything. You and just I just stay out of the way. Show up. You just yeah. <laughs> and, yeah. and, you know. We dealt with your mom on this. Yeah. You're coming and, on the radio with us. And, and they, they're, they're just going to bring stuff for older children, like 13-year-old, 14-year-old. Hey, they deserve Christmas, too, you know? Sure. You know, one of the problems is, though, it seems as these kids get older, they want Game Boys and they want the electronics, which are kind of a lot harder. Oh, yeah. So how do you handle that, Tommy? Just get what we can and get the avenue when it presents itself. But I'm just being very honest. Sure. Okay. Um, so if somebody had an old Game Boy or something like that, sure. they didn't know what to do with it? Please donate it. Please donate it? Please donate it. Cause, but see, we get a lot of the games, too. Right. And we don't have the we don't have the game, Boy game boys or, or the or the gadgets. Right. <laughs> the gadgets. Yeah. But you know, if you got one you're doing it and you got games, we'll take it. So if somebody is upgrading this year maybe and are wondering what to do with it, um, it would be most appreciative there for sure. Tommy Claus. Sure. Now, what is a telephone number where somebody can call and say, I have this, or how do I go about this? What is the telephone number, Tommy? 864-229-0137. And talk to Ms. Betty. 07? No, 229-0137. I'm being pawed by Gracie over here for those of you that may see the video. Okay, 229-0137. And she can tell you either where to drop it off. Now, you're going to be set up at Joel's... Floor, co floor covering again this year. That's really right across from. Used to be the old sports. Break. Old sports break that empty lot right across from there. There's some cars that are being and, sold uh, and everything. There's some Toma Christmas trees right down the street in the old Oxford building. Okay. So um, now, how about if people want to drop off stuff? Are they? How you, do they go about? Well, they'll call the two two nine zero one three seven, and mm -hmm. they'll get it to me, and we'll get it. Okay. We will get it. You'll come and pick it up from them? You, they don't oh, yeah. even have to? Will you do that? Or yeah. do you want it dropped off? We'll or get it. Well, whatever they want, we'll make it easy. Make it easy. And then we can get our work <laughs> through the work schedule. Okay. All right. So this is a great program. And like I said, if you've got, if you're upgrading toys, electronics, if you've got some uh, good condition dolls. Any with clothes. Of, with clothes. <laughs> you don't want any naked dolls? <laughs> Okay, some dolls with clothes. Can I say yeah. this too? Please, with stuffed animals, we get bamboarded with them. Right. And it's hard to really do things with them because we have to, some we can take, some we can't because of the allergens. Right. I mean, the big fluffy ones. Right. No, no, no. No big fluffy ones. And, and with, the, with the toys, be careful with the small parts okay. with the children. Okay. But anything else is game. Well, you know, I think if somebody brought you something, I guess you could divide it yeah. up, right? Right. So, um, when, what weekend will you actually be giving this stuff away? We will be working December the 12th and 13th of December. Okay. That is the actual time the parents can come shopping. Okay. So, any time between now and then is going to be a great time to be able to uh, Get things to Tommy Claus. The number again: two two nine zero one three seven. That's two two nine zero one three seven. Hey, it's time for South Carolina Radio News. Don't you go away. Um, are you a pirate or a pack rat? Do you have a vacation of a lifetime sitting in the attic, or a college tuition hung on a wall, or is a fabulous retirement hidden in your jewelry box? Bring those items to Sharp Facets Gallery. We can establish value and buy from you or sell for you. And so ends another chapter at Sharp Facets Gallery. 72 Bypass and on the web, sharpfacets.com. Oh, that's right. We're right back here, Sharp Facets Gallery this afternoon. Hope you're doing well. It's going to be uh, a beautiful, beautiful day out there. Looks like we're going to have some nice ones. It is going to get a little chilly at night, but uh, still we've got some great weather here. And, of course, we are talking with Tommy Claus. I tell you what, he, uh, he really gets excited and he's very passionate when he's talking about Tommy Claus. You know, uh, Tommy, I think that uh, 
you th you have bigger plans for this, don't you? Oh yeah. <coughs> you always reach for the stars. Okay. So what are you thinking futuristically? Like I told you, I want I would love to see it, other towns adopt it, other communities, and have overseers, and just let it grow, <coughs> and help many 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 kids have. Well, that would be um, that would be uh, terrific, and I know that. I think everybody knows that uh, Christmas is for kids, but you know when you're able to do something like this, really Christmas is for the adults too. Sure. Because to be able to give your children mm -hmm. the the gifts that you want, or even if they're not what you want, to be able to have some gifts under that tree certainly makes a difference. And uh, when they go back to school is really huge. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is. So. What are the type of things that you are looking for for Tommy Claus here this holiday season? All right, the kind of toys, right? Right, kind of toys. Okay, we're looking for Barbie dolls, uh, little trucks that make noise. Okay. They like to dress up. Any of the doll, baby dolls. Okay. Um, let's see, what else? Dress up clothes. We've done that. Uh, roller blades. Or yeah, they used to be called roller skates. Yeah, roller, roller skates, blades, and then yeah. they were making roller blades, which is cool. Um, different stuff like that. Just, just something that they love to play with. Sure. Okay. So there's not really the one thing you did say though. The squishy, soft, uh, plush toys are not good mm -mm. because of the kids' allergies and stuff, and we have to be careful with that. And the and the and the toys with the small parts. Okay. So, but um, anything it, else is game. Anything else is game. I know sometimes the, uh, people will have collected one type of item or something and they'll have all different types of that. Maybe you're looking to downsize something like that. That would be uh, sure. acceptable too, wouldn't it? Yeah. yeah. You would do that. That's great. Sure. So whatever you have, that uh, this is a great opportunity for you to clean out uh, to, uh, you know, maybe you've got some of your kids have gone off to college and everything and they haven't ever given up their toys that they've had. Maybe you want to go through the uh, go through the room and pick some of that stuff out and help out. They too. They also need toys for those older children, that oh, yeah. uh, 11, 12, 13, 14 year old age bracket. So anything you can do to help would be appreciated. Businesses, uh, you know, if you can, uh, Dollar General has come on in a big way, but that doesn't mean that it's all sewed up. We would love to have other people involved okay. in helping with this project. And if you have any of those Game Boys, any of the, um, you know, toys along that line, any of the electronics, they really could use some of those for the kids. The only thing they would say is please have them in working condition. Yes. That's right. So uh, the number to call, 229-0137, that's 229-0137. Uh, he is going to be getting the place set up. Now you have quite a bit of work. Uh, actually, uh, Joel has quite a bit of work to get this set up so you can use this place. Sure. It's, it's carpet's got to be moved. We'll meet with him as soon as I can. So, Joel, if you're listening, we got to meet, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, and then you'll have tables set up, and mm -hmm. it's just like, just like you go Christmas shopping at a store, you get to go Christmas shopping at Tommy Claus. Correct? And if anybody wants to see it, it wants to see what it's like, mm -hmm. get in touch with me. I'll let you see it. Okay. It's incredible. It 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 is, it is what it is. You you will see what I'm saying once you look at. It. Now see. people that um, use Tommy Claus, they do have to call and make an appointment. Mm -hmm. So even though you have this huge facility, you don't just let it get overrun by first come first serve. That's right. What we we have to we have to uh, also abide by the fire code. They won't let us. No children. Okay, no children. But we have to let so many in at a time. I try to do three if I can. Three parents, three, three sets parents, of parents again, are and three. the others away till they get through, and then they'll bring them to the checkout table, mm -hmm. and we'll bag them up and get them on the way. Then For we'll no bring charge. The rest to, no charge. No charge. Mm -hmm. No okay. charge. All right. So uh, this is a uh, this is a great program, and I know uh, Tommy Tumlin. Tommy Claus, it, you know, I think, didn't you used to be Tommy Claus? Didn't you used to be the Santa Claus at the mall? No. You never, never did, that, did that one? That you never one. did that one? Okay. See, I'm a third generation Santa Claus because it started in Clinton, South Carolina. Okay. My great grandfather did it, then he passed it down. Mm -hmm. 
Then I remember when I was a little boy and I had braces, I slept in a Santa Claus suit. So. Slept in a Santa Claus suit? <laughs> yeah, because it was cold in the house, I remember it. And my, one of my relatives that, that did it, there was a produce station down in like an end group thing. Mm -hmm. And he would stand there. And then I had another relative did it, and then they passed it down to me. Okay. So you have come by being Tommy Claus honestly, is that what you're mm -hmm. telling us? Sure. Yeah? Okay, this is, uh, now I have to ask you then, since this has been handed down from generation to generation, are you really Santa Claus? <laughs> you never can tell. Okay, well I just thought I'd ask because it seems like somebody that has been going down through generations, maybe you're right. really Santa Claus. Yeah. You're not telling me, huh? Okay, well I was trying to get the answer. All right, well, um, we've got uh, some other businesses and whatnot. you got Lander University over there working hard to do this. Now, you said you were going to donate um, to uh, to name this for for uh, a person that has helped and volunteered a lot of time. Mm -hmm. So what, who is that? This is Ms. Martha Simmons, Martha and Bud Simmons. They've been helping me in operations in the warehouse. And she had a kind of a sickness. And she had to walk all over again. And we, we spent really time with her, my folks, mm -hmm. us, and, and prayer and, uh, and support. Mm -hmm. And she's walking again on two, two, um, on, on the walker. walker. Mm -hmm. And then on the crutches. Crutches, okay. And, you know, she's just a wonderful lady. She's positive. And she always says, Tommy, we're going to do this again. Right. So you're dedicating and it to her for this yes, year. Yes, so dedicated to Ms. Martha Simmons. That's right. Now, what if somebody wants to get involved in help? Do you need any help with people doing anything? Well, what we, we try to do is with the space that we have mm -hmm. with the in the warehouse, because Dad and Bud and the, my brothers, they do a great job in the warehouse with right. the toys because we have to make sure everything's ready to go. But what we really need is people to get toys. That, right. That's the main part. Okay. So we can get them in, get them done, and get it ready to go. Now, what do you mean by get them done, Tommy? Well, get them on the tables. Tables. And, and, and see what we have to do. It lets me know how many, t how, many, how many toys I can give a child. It lets me know how many quality toys, and we can get them ready. Because once we get a break, we're refurbishing table. Because, man, Friday... Yeah. It'll go out the front door. I'm gonna tell you that right now. We, it goes fast. Now, just out of curiosity, do do they get like one toy, or how does this work? Well, it it depends on, like I say, the the toys that we get. Right. On the paper, we did um, last year the child was given four gift, a stuffed animal, and a book for a mm -hmm. child because we had the toys. And you did 310 children yeah, last year. Yeah, 310. Okay. So you kind of have to depend, you have to know how much you have to be mm -hmm. able to know how many you can give out. Mm -hmm. But it's not just one toy normally, mm -hmm. no. Mm -hmm. You try to make it like it's a really big Christmas. Oh yes? yeah, we try to make it explosive. For explosive, okay. I mean, you know, because that's why as much as toys I can go, the more they can get and the more they will be. Okay. And that's the goal. That's the goal. All right. Well, we are here with Tommy Claus, uh, a.k.a. Tommy Tumlin. He's been doing this. This is his 10th year. They're going to be doing it again. They'll be giving out toys on the 12th and 13th of December over there at Joel's um, Floor Covering. And if you have any toys you could donate, if you're out shopping any time and you happen to see some good prices on it and want to pick up a few if you don't have any, he would really, really, really appreciate it. Now, are there drop-off places besides mm -hmm. Lander? We're um, the youth group at New Life Baptist Church on the 22nd of November. Mm -hmm. We'll be in front of Hobby Lobby. Okay. And it's going to be a toy drop-off. And if you want to go get toys and bring them, we're ready. So. We're ready. So <laughs> we'll November 22nd. From, from 10 to 2. Okay, November 22nd from 10 to 2. Okay, and that'll be at Hobby Lobby. And mm -hmm. any other places you're going to be? Um, well, I'm, we've got some more things in the work, but I'm, I'm, we haven't got it I scheduled. haven't got it scheduled, but we're working on it. All right, well, you be sure to let me know, and we'll sure. make sure everybody knows. Okay, let's hear a quick word from our sponsors. We'll be right back. Oh, that's right. 
right, we're right back here in Sharp Facets Gallery. Gracie decided to grace us with her presence this afternoon because she's so excited about her brand new Facebook page, Gracie Gives Back. And, you know, it's only appropriate since uh, Tommy is here, Tommy Claus, Tommy Tumlin is here with us because he believes in giving back to this community. Now, Tommy, I, I, I think I probably know the answer to this, but mm -hmm. I guess you get... Um, even though you don't make any money at it, it brings you a lot of joy. Sure. That's what it's all about. That's what it's all about. It's all about. Not the money, it's just the smiling faces and those that you can help. Sure. And, you know, I think that uh, probably that you see people coming back and people that maybe needed a handout one year came back in the 10 years. I'm sure you've seen some people who have come through and said, I brought you something, you helped me one time, and now I want to sure, give back. Sure, we see that a lot. And that's what we want. Yeah. Because if we help them, then they can get on their feet. And then they can give back to it. That's just the way it works. Sure. You know, you were telling me about a, a little girl named Wendy that sure. was uh, one of uh, the people that still touches your heart today. Oh, definitely. Little, little Joy. <laughs> yeah, Little Joy. What can you tell me about that story? It was, it was way back. We got to go to a little halfway house there. I think Greenville. Yeah. And there was a little girl named Wendy, and um, she had really been through a lot. They had two children, one, two little boys and her, and she never had seen Santa Claus before. In fact, didn't you tell me she'd been sold for... for mm -hmm. they, they, she had been, been sold, sold for They crack? had just got her about a week, that week I think it was. What a horrible thing to be, for mm -hmm. a child to have been sold for crack. And I can remember coming in, sitting down, and you were dressed as oh yeah, Santa oh, yeah. Claus. I was in the uniform. In the uniform, okay. <laughs> and I can remember sitting there. And I can remember seeing that little red girl just peep around the corner. I can see it now. And you know, and she she, she never had seen Santa Claus before. And then she walked in. She had that little country bro. Doggone it, you are real. Then I reached in there and got that raggedy art band doll. About a four foot tall one, a big one? Mm hmm Yeah. And she grabbed it and she hugged me and up the stairs she ran. Mm -hmm. Well, the caseworker said, wait a minute, the little boys, they were playing with them Tonka trucks that we had. And she, we walked up the stairs and there she was. She struggled that little, I can see it now, struggling that little doll. doll. And, you know, that was worth everything. And I got home and I remember telling Dad, I said, Dad, that was just wow. And we found out a week after that Christmas she got adopted. So I thank the Lord for that. Well, didn't you tell me you called her Joy? Yeah, we named her Joy. Joy, yep. Because that little jack-o'-lantern effect went from the hurt, right, to the joy. To the joy, yeah. You know, and you know, sometimes I think we get away from what the true spirit of Christmas sure. is. We get wrapped up in all of our own problems and trying to do everything. And the holidays certainly can wind you up, baby. Oh yeah, <laughs> <laughs> with the with the events and the parties and trying to keep up and trying to make sure you check your list and check it twice. It certainly is nice to be able to slow down and uh, really remember what Christmas is all about. I remember. Our family Christmas is in the house, right? The gifts are nice. Mm -hmm. The dinner is wonderful. Yeah, but you eat much, you know. Right. And you, but it's it's to stop and get your family together, because you see your people you work with more than you see your own family. Quite often, that's true. And, and, and just stop and say, "Hey, I love you." Mm -hmm. Grab that old brother you ain't seen in a couple that y'all may have had a little argument with and say, well, bro, I want to tell you I love you and appreciate you. I mean, having your mom and dad is like gold because you don't know when you're not going to have them. That's true. That's true. And we've got to understand to love one another, either in this world, family, or out, even people we don't even know. True. That's true. So this is the time of the year when you can do small things that will really mean a lot to uh, people you may not even know. Sure. But you can really make a difference, and there is something to be said. Uh, God blesses each and every one. Sure. 
So if you are out shopping and you find some terrific deals, you should pick them up. If you've got some uh, nice toys that, uh, whether they're Tonka trucks or uh, uh, a piece of plastic as you called it <laughs> that time, and any of those things, baby dolls uh, are great for little kids to, uh, to have. Any of those things would be appreciated. Do they have to be brand new? No, they don't. Should they be in good condition? Yes, please. Even if you're upgrading this year and getting uh, one of those new Christmas trees and you have a Christmas tree you're not going to use, don't throw it in the trash. Give it to Tommy Claus and let him give it to a family who would enjoy it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and even the old decorations, sure. right? Sure, yeah. it balls or stuff or whatever they can use. I mean, some of them don't have that. Right. So uh, if you are upgrading, or maybe you do themed Christmases, as so many people do these days, and you've got things that you're not going to use, make sure you, uh, if you could give them to Tommy Claus, he'll make sure they get put to good use. And I want to say this to, to Ms. Ellen, we talked about this. Hey, Greenwood, I need your help. Yep. I'm challenging everyone. From the upper, middle, even the lower that can give. Come on, Greenwood, let's make children's Christmas bright. Right. Because we can do it. We can make the Emerald City glow like it's never glowed before. And if we do that, Mayor, City Councilman, hey, we're looking, we're making a progress to our state house and stuff too. Hey, look what Greenwood's doing. They're making a difference. So let's make a difference in these children's life this year. Well, you know, one of the things that they have just um, announced actually last week on our show was the Greenwood Promise. And the Greenwood Promise says that starting in 2000, the graduating class of 2016 will be able to go to school to, uh, a, if they graduate from high school, mm -hmm. prep school, home school, any of these, if they graduate from that, they will be promised an education right here at the technical that house. That is awesome. Isn't that Way awesome? Go. That's Piedmont Tech, right? Well, I mean, Piedmont Tech, Tech maybe Lander, Lander, but yes, they, it is going to be for what manufacturing, awesome. yes, this type of thing. So isn't that awesome? That uh, And that is guaranteeing, Start. yeah, that is guaranteeing that we have the workforce to be able to bring in more business that makes Greenwood greater. Because we need to grow. Yes. we got to grow. That's we right. got to make it for the better of the good of our people. So how I'll would you like? That. How would you like to be a child that is go that is uh, now in uh, fifth, sixth, seventh grade, and tell them you're going to be able to go to go to an uh, upper level education level past high school? Wouldn't that be awesome? That would be awesome. 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 That's right. So and think of how the parents would feel not to have to worry about how are you going to pay for college or some secondary or technical type schooling. Right, because our kids are our future. That's right. And if we don't take care of them now, what a generation's going to raise up? That's true. That's and true. we got to step up as parents. I'm a parent, even though my daughter's grown. Right. But we still have to grow to step up to the plate, make our kids, and love our kids, and make it the best that we can for them. Absolutely. So, this is what Tommy Claus says. In a small way on the campus of Lander, he has challenged all the sororities and fraternities there to uh, put the, whoever can raise the most items, I guess we could say it, the most mm -hmm. items, is going to get a $100 gift certificate, or a $100 donation to charity. That's coming out of Tommy's product uh, pocket. That doesn't come out of the money that people give. Everything that's given, if I'm understanding this right, uh, Tommy, except for you got to buy some gas to warm the uh, propane to yeah, warm that. And the gas to go get stuff. Um, right. But we put that in the miscellaneous. Right. But you, everything is accounted for. Everything accounted for. So if, we it's, have to. if it's more easy for you to give money, now if they want to give money, what do they need to do? Call the number 229-0137 and Mama will give you the information because I don't get in that part. <laughs> okay. So the biggest thing to remember is 229-0137 and remember Tommy Claus. Tommy Tumlin, always a great to talk to you. Thank and you. I tell you what, your heart is, is bigger than you are. It's awesome. It's awesome. I mean, it's, 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 it's what we got to do. That's it's, right what we have to do. That's right. You are listening to WCRS right here in Greenwood. Bye-bye, everybody. Don't forget, check, check out Gracie's new Facebook page.
Gracie Gives Back. Bye-bye, everybody. <laughs>